Hi, I'm Alden Pellet, Vermont Life Photographer from Hinesburg, Vermont. Welcome to Something in the Air, Vermont Life Pictures by Alden Pellet. All of the photography in this gallery was taken on assignment or with Vermont Life in mind. Uh, some of the pictures in here you'll see, there's a pastel sunrise on Camel's Hump. Uh, I was working a day job at the time, but got up at 3 in the morning and hiked up early. Uh, and this, the light was fading in the morning, clouds were coming in, the storm was approaching. And uh, that's why you don't have oranges at that time in the future. Uh, one of the things you'll see here often that made the photo at the moment was uh, choosing the lens at the time, you know, and the camera that I had in my hand with that lens makes the difference. Like the opening picture you've seen of my friend on the snowboard launching in the air. Uh, I had an ultra-wide Nikon lens, and that's all I brought with me that day. Uh, I was able to move light and be in the right position when I went. And, uh, you know, little, little blessings happen while you're shooting pictures because if a big clump of snow hadn't clung to him, the picture wouldn't be nearly as good. And that's not something I had anything to do with. Those things just happen if you're taking a lot of pictures you're there and make your own luck. I was working in a ski area at Smuggler's Notch back in the mid 80s and uh, my brother actually suggested that my snapshots were almost professional levels so he said I should get a camera and start doing that. Uh, so I took photos of my friends jumping off big cliffs on Mount Mansfield and other areas and uh, then I just started talking to uh, Vermont Life Mike. Uh, a friend of mine, Rob Swanson, used to come into the camera store, and he was staff photographer at the Vanguard Press at the time, a weekly, small weekly newspaper. And uh, you know, we talked about photography when he was in there, and one day he called me and asked if I would shoot an assignment for him, because he wasn't going to be able to do it. Uh, and then a few months later, he left his job there, and uh, I was offered the job as a staff photographer. So then I was a photojournalist officially. Yeah, often it's amazing where you'll be willing to go for getting that right angle, perfect angle, perfect picture. You find yourself hanging off the side of an airplane, crawling underneath the car, you know, laying down in the manure in the barn. You know, you make that decision like, but the picture could be good. And sometimes you get down in the manure and the picture's not very good. A lot of times when you're photographing action adventure stuff, Things are happening pretty fast. Uh, like with whitewater kayaking, you know, I usually choose to be on foot. I can move from one hole to the next, and, and boaters tend to try to scout things out before they run the rapids. But once they get going, you know, there's no stopping them. You can't have them do it again. Um, and you know, you've got to be in the right angle at the right time. And that means running around on slippery ground, uh, thinking ahead where you need to be. You know, how am I going to get to the other side of the river? Do I need to be on the other side of the river? Do I have the right lens on? Uh, you know, have I got enough space on my digital card? And all these things are coming through your mind at the same time while you're trying to look at the ground and run. Uh, and then, of course, you get there, and if they're slightly in the wrong position, you've got to move 20 feet very quickly and be ready to take a picture. Uh, and you're going to miss pictures, so you have to be ready to do that too. It's that you know you're just going to miss 20% of them or you know, somebody's going to do something different and then there goes that opportunity because you're in the wrong spot. But uh, you can't always anticipate everything. And that's why going with a big group of boaters is good because you get more than one chance. Or the first guy down might show you where people are going to tend to go. Um, and so, you, you know, you're looking for that expression when they go over. piece of advice I can give you is, you know, stick to it. You know, something that Clyde Smith told me early on, you know, stick to it and get out there and take pictures.
Tough day at the office.